The diagram below represents the graph of f of x, which is a sin graph, okay, and g of x, which is a cos graph. So let's just highlight that. So f is the sin graph over here, okay, and then g is the cos graph. There we go. The first question says, write down the values of a and b. Okay, so for the sin graph, can you know, can you remember what a normal sin graph does? A normal sin graph goes up and then down. You see how it goes up first and then it goes down? But this one goes down and then up. So what that means is that there is definitely gonna be a negative value for a. So it's gonna be something with a negative, okay? Now a normal sin graph goes up to one and down to minus one. However, this one is going down to minus two and then up to positive two. So what have they done to the graph? Well, they've multiplied the graph by two. So this number in the front, this a value, is gonna be a negative two sin x. Okay, so a is gonna be a negative two. Some learners, the way that they like to work out the value of a is they see that this distance here from the, from the middle is a one, but now this distance from the middle is now a two, so it's a two, okay? Um, however you wanna do that. Now to work out the value of B, it's a cos graph. So remember that a normal cos graph starts at one and then goes like this. So it goes from one down to minus one. Now this one seems to be doing exactly that. It starts at one and it goes down to minus one. So there's nothing weird about that one. So this B value is actually just gonna be a one. It's not gonna be a two or a negative number. It's just gonna be a one. So the equation would be um, one cos x. So that means that A is negative two and B is one. This next question says, for which values of x will g, okay, so the graph g, which is the green one, will it be a decreasing function? So what is a decreasing function? Well, a decreasing function is when you move from left to right, so you start here on the left and you move towards the right-hand side, whenever the graph is going down, that is a decreasing function. Wherever it's going up, that's an increasing function, like that, okay? So, but you must go from left to right. You mustn't go from right to left because then it's gonna be the opposite. So we're gonna go from left to right. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna to move towards this direction. So if, uh, like that. So if we do that, where is the graph going down? Well here it's going down, up to there. And then after that it starts going up. Can you see that? So where is it going down? It's between this point and this point, but they want the x values, okay? So you'll say that it's whenever x is, now you gotta be careful. So we know that it's between zero, this is zero degrees, remember, x value is zero. I know the y value is one, but the x value here is zero, and the x value here is 180. So there's definitely gonna be a zero and a 180. But at the zero, look at the graph. Is it going up, down, or is it flat? Well, it's flat. So you're not gonna include the zero because they wanna know where is it decreasing. If you, if, so, we, so we're just gonna say that it starts at zero, but it doesn't include zero, because at the zero, the graph is not going up or down, but it's flat, okay? And then at 180, it's also flat. Can you see that? It's, it's completely flat at that point, so you won't include that point. If you wanted to use interval notation, you could say that it goes from zero up to 180. This question over here says, what is the amplitude of F? So the yellow graph, well, what is amplitude? Amplitude is, okay, so you need the following. So let's say you have a graph that looks like this. Okay, so let's say you have a graph that, um, so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, but this graph does this. And this value here is, the y value is six, and this y value is two. So to work out amplitude, you need to find the middle position. So the middle position is not gonna be this line. The middle position is gonna be halfway between six and two, which would be four. And that's your middle position, okay? Now your amplitude is the distance from the middle position to the top. So that would be from four to six. So for this graph, the amplitude would be two. So for this one, uh, they said for graph F, which is the yellow one, your middle position is the x-axis, but it won't always be like that. But in this one it is. So if you look at this distance, it goes from zero up to two. So the amplitude is two. This question says, what is the range of G? 
So remember that range is the y values. Now they're talking about the green graph. So you're gonna start with the lowest y value. So the lowest y value would be down here, which is at negative one. And the highest y value would be up here, which is at positive one. So we're gonna go from minus one to one. So if you use set builder notation, you would say that y is any number bigger than minus one and smaller and equal to positive one. So you're saying that y is any number between minus one and positive one. And it also includes those values because the graph is touching the minus one and it is touching the positive one. If you prefer interval notation, you could say y is an element going from minus one up to one. Okay, now these types of graphs, easy, I mean these types of questions, sorry, easy marks. For which value of x is f of x minus g of x equal to two? All that they want you to do here, I'll give you an example. Let's say, um, so let, let's, let's look at this area here. So what is the y value of g of x? Well, the y value of g of x um, is one. Can you see that? And look at this one. What is the y value of that point there? The y value of f of x? Uh, the y value is zero. So at that point there, if you had to say f of x minus g of x, you'd end up with uh, zero minus one and that would give you negative one, right? Now, what if you had to look in this area over here? So if you look at the, um, if you look at the y value of f, it would be uh, two. And if you look at the y value of, I mean, of, the, of g, it's zero, the y value. So if you had to say f of x minus g of x, it would give you two, and that's exactly what they wanted. So they said for which x value? Well, where is that happening? It's happening over here where the x value is 270 degrees, so 270 degrees.